I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. I know you were right. Believing for so long. I'm all out of love. What am I without you? I can't be too late to say that I was so. Hey, who's in my chair? Ah, oh, busted. What is up and welcome back to my channel, Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill. If you're new to my channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button as well as give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it. Feel free as well to leave me any comments or questions down below. If you haven't already, hit that notification bell because we have a ton of heat coming out that I do not want you guys to miss out on. And hello, anybody see that new join button? That's right, we have amazing new tiers. If you wanna become a part of the Shade Gang, I highly recommend that you guys go and check those tiers out, as well as check our new merch out, you guys. We've got some heat on our new shop that I don't want you guys to miss out on. If you guessed it correctly, we have a guest today, and uh, it's Donatello from the Ninja Turtles. I'm just wondering, Donatello, what were you doing on my iPad? Uh. Uh, these these sneakers. Let's talk about the sneakers. They're awesome. They're radical, huh? Pretty sure he was typing something about me on there. Oh no! You know Google never lies. You can always backtrack to see what your last search was. That's why I use the incognito tab. I think you misplaced that this time around. Nice try, Donatella, but we all know what you were searching on there. All right, so since you're already here. I guess let's go through what we're gonna be discussing on today's video. First, we're gonna go through the overview of, if you've already guessed it, the perfect pairing shoe actually for you, Donatello. It's purple. Except that it's a woman's exclusive. Shh, that's okay. We all know that guys definitely partake in the woman's <laughs> exclusive shoes. So we're gonna do an overview on the shoe, talk about the sizing of it. I don't know how to size those feet of yours. They're, they're different, but we'll get to that later. Uh, then we're going to talk about how we styled this as, you know, we had to rock some purple in our gear in the styling section, which was a ton of fun. Then we're going to conclude with a, a little bit on the resell on how these shoes are currently doing in the market. And maybe if you're up for it, we'll do a little duet. Anything for you, Marissa. I mean, yeah, cowabunga. He's kind of blushing and I think he may have a crush on me. All right, Donatello, so let's jump into the overview of this shoe. So first I wanna ask you a question. I've never seen you or your brothers wearing a pair of shoes ever. Well, I tried pushing it to the other guys, but I keep getting downvoted. I was thinking of this whole cool thing where we'd all wear shoes and we'd be call ourselves a Foot Clan. The, f is the Foot Clan here? Wait, what? Oh, uh, maybe that's why they never took the idea. Oh, gotta think about this one again. That's their enemies. Jesus. They say he's the smartest of the turtles, too. So the color's Varsity Purple, isn't it? So this is the Varsity Purple colorway and the Dunk Highs. You are correct. And this matches your bandana quite perfectly, actually. Let's get into the coloring scheme, though, here. I love this color. I am a purple fan. I once mentioned to my grandma, actually, that purple was my favorite color. And for four years straight, she bought me everything only in the color purple. I wasn't literal grandma, but thanks. I appreciate it. So we've got this beautiful 
varsity purple coloring scheme all over just a basic white over underlay which is quite nice it's just nice simple colors but it's really helping you know really expose that purple which i think is going to go great with your bandana if you decide to fit those uh you have two toes is that correct turtles have two toes well four if you count both feet that that's correct my math is always off leave it to the smart ones to get the numbers correct right <laughs> So the difference in this shoe from the older version that we're used to seeing is the translucent sole on the bottom, which I really think makes this shoe pop. It's that icy purple translucent coloring scheme that we have on the outsole. It's quite nice. Followed by this just basic white um, kind of creamish, creamy white texture going into the leather of that midsole. And we've got just some nice detailed Varsity Purple swooshes, some beautiful satin laces. What do you think about satin, Donatello? Smooth as ice. <laughs> so as you said earlier, this was a woman's exclusive shoe, unfortunately. So for those fellas out there who have larger feet, you probably missed out on the opportunity to purchase these. Hopefully you're on the woman's sizing. Don't mention that, jeez. <laughs> So this shoe is actually kind of based off of the City Attack pack, which kind of reminds me of you since you live your life in the sewers, huh? City Attack. We protect the city while it gets attacked, so I, I understand that. <laughs> Definitely the shoe for you, I think, for sure. And then we've got this nice kind of gold coloring scheme on the tongue here, the Nike with the swoosh mark. So that actually goes back to the 90 nine version it's paying homage to that which i like and then the tongue is just a basic white coloring scheme underneath but guess what donatella we have something special here and that's a second pair of satin laces you feeling that just in case you're over the purple one of these days you can switch it up to the white laces if you don't feel like you want to really go hard on the purple color game hey splinter can we actually change our colors Pointer is not gonna let you do that. Nice try, buddy. Nice try. All right, so on the insole, we've got white insoles with just a nice dabble of that Versi purple on the Nike and Swish mark. And that completes the look of the Versi purple dunk. I think we gotta convince your brothers to buy into the dunk game. I think we have colors for each. Forget my brothers, they're not here now. <sighs> He's already so attached. She doesn't want to share me. Uh. All right, so let's talk about sizing of the shoe. This came in woman sizing. So I stayed true to size with a woman size nine and it fit me perfectly. I would not recommend going up or down. Again, you guys, if you don't know the shape and size of my foot, I have very high arches as well as very narrow feet. And so depending on the type of foot that you have, that will decipher what shoe is gonna fit you for different reasons. So definitely my recommendations stick true to size. All right, now let's talk about some clothes. How much clothes, are you wearing any clothes? What do you have on that shell yours? The emperor is always wearing clothes. <sighs> All right, well, maybe we can convince you to put a couple more layers on because, you know, looking like a turtle walking around the city may cause some people to question what's going on. Um, but let's get into the styling, talk about how I styled these shoes. First up, I decided to wear what I'm wearing now, which is this Crossbox logo hoodie by Supreme. And of course, this beautiful color that I feel like matches the shoe to a T. I layered that with a nice, just black trench coat with some light denim baggy jeans. It's a little chilly outside here in New York. For those of you who live here, you know my pain. And uh, I just felt like that was a great kind of wintry vibe that really pulled from the beautiful varsity purple tones in this shoe.
For the second look, I went with another black shaggy trench coat and I paired that with an ambush crew neck hoodie and uh, I paired that with some just nice Fear of God black sweatpants. I think black really helps this color pop as making it just more of a backdrop to the purple coloring scheme in this shoe. And for the last and final look, I did that all black look again. You guys are seeing a trend here, right? I love me some black and sometimes dark gray. I only work in black and sometimes very, very dark gray. And for that last look, I wore an Alpha Industries jacket with a fur collar paired with an Alexander Wang, just faux kind of fur uh, hoodie underneath that. And I wore it with some Balenciaga black pants that kind of have some distressed coloring in there. And I think that that all black look just really, again, makes this shoe the centerpiece. So let me know at the end what you guys liked out of those three outfits and let me also know what you guys would do to style these shoes. All right, now let's conclude with the resell on how these shoes are doing currently. All right, so these shoes retailed at $110 and currently on the resale market, they are going between $180 to $240 depending on what size you are. So there's a little bit of money to be made for you resellers out there, um, but it's not too crazy of a price point that I think is unattainable if you do want to purchase these because you weren't able to cop them. All right, Donatello, tell us, how, what did you think of the shoes? These kicks jump more than valence electrons. Uh, okay, so uh, you want to get some pizza? Pizza, yeah, pizza's great, pepperoni. Okay, God, he's really nerding out sometimes. Uh, all right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this unboxing and review of the Dongs and the Varsity Purple. Uh, again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave me any comments or questions you may have about this shoe. Don't forget as well to smash that notification bell. We do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you guys to miss out on. Also, hit that join button as we are looking to add to our shade gang. So be sure to check out those new tiers and perks that we have added to those different levels. And we've got a ton of merch that I don't want you guys to miss out on. So be sure to check out our new store that we have uploaded to the channel. All right, is it time for our duet before we go? Ready when you are. Da -da. Or is he blind? Can he walk at all? Or if he moves, will he fall? Oh. Oops. <laughs> Alright guys, be sure to leave your guesses down below as to who our new character will be on the next video. Be sure to slap a thumbs up like as well if you haven't already. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We will catch you on the next video. Algorithms are awesome. Yeah, now you're getting it.
Wait a minute. Don't tell Splinter I'm teaching on the side, all right? What?